If you've spent any time whatsoever in the torque management tabs on a Gen 4 or Gen 5, you've probably seen something to do with TCS or the trash control system. Let's see if they actually make any difference whenever we do changes to them. Hey everybody, welcome back to The Garage, and today we are diving into the TCS system that's part of torque management. There's a couple parameters based on the different platforms. You're really only going to see this probably on Gen 4 and Gen 5, maybe the E40 platform. If it is on the Gen 3 stuff, though, let me know down below. As I said, I don't have as much experience on Gen 3s as I do Gen 4s and Gen 5s. But the whole idea behind it is let's test it out, see if it makes a difference. In order to do that, we're going to dive into the Super Auto, take a look at the tune, see what all settings there's not many on this particular platform and what happens whenever we change them. But first, we need to go ahead and knock out the disclaimer. Let's do that now. This video is intended for educational purposes only. Improper tuning can cause catastrophic mechanical damage and you should do your own research before attempting any changes like this to a vehicle. Attempt custom tuning at your own risk. Okay, now that the disclaimer's out of the way, I do want to take a quick second to thank all the new subscribers. Been real hot this week. Thank you for hitting that button down there. And if for some reason you're not a subscriber, go ahead, subscribe, ring the bell. The worst that you can do is learn about tuning, learn how to tune, learn more about tuning, and just join a community of like-minded people who are sharing information out there for free to try and better understand all of this tuning stuff. So thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the participation in the comments. Thank you for checking the links out in the descriptions. You can find the website Goat Rope Garage down there. That takes you to about everything else that you need to get to. On top of it, you can use the tuning101.com address to bring you straight to our YouTube homepage. It's the quickest way to share this information with friends who might be looking for tuning information. And I thank you for taking the time to share the information. That being said, let's dive into it here. I've got it pulled up. You're going to see it over here in the corner. There's not a lot to look at. So whenever we go into torque management, based on the different platforms, you're going to have a TCS system, and it can be a little bit more elaborate on some of the fancier cars, but it's the general gist of it is this is something that is going to pull torque out whenever you meet certain limits. So we're going to try a couple of things. You can see the main two on here are the enable temp and the max torque. Power hop normally can be enabled on a lot of the solid axle or the uh, you know leaf spring back vehicles and even on the independent suspension vehicles because there's an issue with keeping the wheels planted and if they have something that can detect power hop it will cut power to try and keep the tramp from happening. Oil starvation, I've not seen any uh, platforms where this is enabled but my guess is it's probably on the higher end Corvettes and things like that, the uh, LSAs. You know, any of the engines that have uh, are in cars are designed for cornering and things like that. Hit up the comments down below and let me know if you have oil starve enabled on your platform and what your platform is. I'd like to dive into one of those tunes, take a look at. But we are going to focus on the enable temp and the max torque. And so to start off, uh, we're going to go ahead and try and just completely disable this so it doesn't work. And in order to do that, we're going to bump up our enable temp to 400. And then our max torque, we're going to take it all the way out to 6,000 foot-pounds. I'm guessing that this is an engine foot-pound reading based on the low number that was in there from the get-go. But there's not a whole lot to change on this. So let's go ahead and load it up to the truck, take it down the road, see what happens. And then after that, we will go ahead and drop this max torque way, way down and see how that affects us, see if it actually plays in with the traction control system as we know it whenever you hit the button and, you know, shut it off that way. So let's dive into it. Okay, so we've got the truck kind of up to operating temp here. We're just about to where we need to be. I've got a log pulled up, as you can see, at the very bottom left of the PID list I have. Desired engine RPM, TCS, TCS engine torque request, axle torque request. So these should be the things that will end up limiting us whenever we would get into TCS. In theory, these are the only TCS parameters on this platform. So I'm not sure how this is actually going to work out. But this is the setup right now that we've got going where everything's maxed out. We've got the TCS enable temp to 400 degrees. That's versus ECT, engine coolant temp. And then we have the max torque set to 6,000 foot-pounds. So, you know, on this truck, we still might clip it. I'm just kidding. Yeah. So I got to find a little section out here. The nice thing about it is the roads are wet today, so it should be pretty easy to bounce up against 
TCS, but I need, I don't want to do it in a curve. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, I feel like normally that would have done it. Now you have to remember, I do not have traction control turned off with the button. So, this is doing absolutely nothing, seeing if we get into any wheel slip. I've got a car behind me. I'm gonna pull over up here. Well, maybe this does work to disable traction control. I don't know. I can't really look at the log while I'm mashing on it this hard to see what's going on, but the numbers have not changed, which would make sense because the enable temp is set so high. With it set at 400 degrees, hey, there's Mrs. Garage! So, with it set to 400 degrees, it is probably just not enabling it. So let's pull over up here and let's change out the tune and let's re-enable the set point to negative 40. And then we're gonna drop the foot pounds down to like, I don't know, 100. 100 foot pounds is probably low enough that it is going to cause us fits. So stick around. Okay, now that we're pulled over here, I'm gonna scroll back through here. Nothing's happening on the TCS stuff. Whenever we go wide open throttle, you can see the shift, you can see what all's in control torque's in control the whole way through everything looks good accelerator 100 throttle at 100 you know we're uh not putting out a ton of power on this thing you gotta remember i've taken the supercharger off this so and in fact our predicted torque on my torque tables are a little bit too high on this so i'm going to go ahead jump over to the tune real quick and so as i said we've got this we're going to drop our enable down to negative 40 and we'll do 80 foot-pounds, how's that sound for our max torque? That'll be interesting, right? Save that. I'm gonna load this in, I'll be right back. Okay, we've got her enabled now. We've got it dialed way down. I need to get gas. I don't know how much gas is in here. It takes a while for this fuel gauge to catch up, so I should probably do that while we're out and about here, but I'll give us plenty of time to test this out. Okay, that doesn't seem to be an issue. <laughs> we just totally blasted the tires off. I've got the TCS set to 80 foot-pounds of torque. Didn't care. I know we got way more than 80 foot-pounds of torque that just popped up there. Uh, we did get the traction control light on the dash, but it didn't seem like it was pulling any power out. We definitely weren't limiting to 80 foot-pounds of torque. So, I'm not sure that these tables really do much. We'll have to look at the log because it almost looks like nothing changed. Okay, maybe it was kicking in there. Seems like we were still getting a lot more than 80 foot-pounds of torque, but it kicked in a lot earlier. You heard it bouncing off a of traction control we will have to review the logs. That should be something on the log there that's rather apparent as to what was going on. So hopefully that'll give us some insight because it didn't seem to matter the other way. Okay, let's take a look at this log. Here's the last one where we were at the stoplight. Okay, there you go. We did get into immediate torque source axle, and you can see the TCS desired engine torque plummeted. It shot us way down to 48 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, yeah, and it kept on limiting us. You can see it hit the limit a few times on there. Then we shifted, still had, and then we finally got out of it, and it let the TCS torque go back up to 225. I don't know where that 225 area, 260 area comes from. It doesn't necessarily align with anything, so. Who knows? But it does seem like if you lower the value, it does affect it. So I went ahead, 
Jack the setting back up to 600 foot pounds, put the enable temp down to 40. We'll see if it makes a difference. I got a stop sign right up here that we can mash on it. I'm not logging, but I should be able to tell just from getting it off the line here and 600 is, oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. So it does make a big difference. <laughs> we just, just blasted her off real nice and well there. Didn't ever get into traction control on the dash. I think that that is like, if this were Mythbusters, we would say that the TCS stuff is confirmed. It actually works. I honestly didn't think it made a damn bit of difference. But let's, uh, let's get back to the garage and do a wrap up. Hopefully I didn't shake my beer up too bad. So talk to you guys here in a second. So the question is, do these values actually help? Well, it seems like they do. Now, whenever we dialed it down, the TCS was really aggressive, but whenever we maxed it out, didn't make a whole lot of difference compared to how it normally operates at the stock set points. I've had a lot of people ask me in the past, hey, Kyle, what, uh, you know, kind of what is the purpose of these tables? And how can we use these to help with our launch control stuff? Well, I don't know that you necessarily can, and I'll tell you why. The TCS system works as a duty cycle, and that set point that we have is kind of the maximum torque set point. The closer that we get to it, the more the duty cycle goes up. What happens whenever we get up to the duty cycle, that's whenever we start pulling power through shutting the throttle, maybe pulling spark, things like that that responds a lot quicker than I thought it did. I mean, it's kind of like an on off switch. If you looked at whenever we were scrubbing through the logs, you could see the TCS torque values bouncing around a bit. And that was it in enacting the duty cycle where it was at 260 and it would drop down to 120 and then down to 80 and then down to 40 because whenever we were exceeding our set point of 80, it was cutting even more torque. Uh, and so it was trying to drop us back down to 80 and then it would ramp up. We don't, at least on this platform, have control over that duty cycle. If we had better control over the duty cycle though, yeah, we could probably use this as a launch tool where we could set a uh, torque value that we wanted and whenever we get into what would be considered something like wheel slip, maybe we could control it a little bit better, but I don't think that this is going to be the answer that a lot of you guys were looking for on TCS. But that being said, it was an interesting experiment. It was fun. Got to go out in the rain, blow the tires off a little bit. Uh, I don't think that you need to set this thing way outside of your uh, torque settings. And in fact, your factory torque settings are probably going to be perfectly fine in anything besides first and second gear on most of these platforms. But by all means, go crank that thing up. So listen, guys, remember... Have a good weekend, be safe, get to tuning, have a cold beer if you got one sitting around and you're of legal age, of course, and ABT, always be tuning.